Greetings, fellow traveler. It is I, Ken, coming at you from just outside my building. So it is January 11th today. Why is January 11th important, you ask? Well, let me tell you. Six months ago today, actually just a couple hours ago, I arrived here in Rankin Inlet. And uh, I, I gotta tell you, it feels like literally it was just yesterday. The time has flown by, it's crazy. So I thought since I've been here for half a year already, I would share with you a couple things that I learned, a couple surprises, and uh, two of the best purchases that I have made while I've been here. Uh, the first thing I have learned uh, is that it's handy to have a little flashlight on your toque. Uh, Cause then when it's dark, you can see where you're going, but more importantly, people can see you. So yeah, that's the first thing that I learned. Turn that off so it's not blinding you. Uh, the second thing that I have learned since being here is that cold is a relative term. Uh, today it was actually pretty warm. Uh, I was, think it was minus 25, wind chill of minus 35-ish. Uh, and uh, I didn't have to wear like a face mask or put my like hood up or anything. And uh, I never thought I would be in a situation where I'm like, oh, it's only minus 30 today. That's kind of nice out. So yes, cold is a, a relative term. And uh, so far, it hasn't been too cold um, yet, anyways. I'll just wait for the traffic to go by. Loud at this time of day. Yeah, so cold is a relative term. Um, I, I think as of yet, it hasn't been really, really cold. So we'll see. Hopefully it gets really, really cold and then I can go outside and tell you what it's like for like minus 50. Well, it's been minus 50, but that wasn't even too bad. Minus 70, that's what I'm waiting for. So we'll see. The second thing that I have learned uh, is that uh, the dark actually hasn't bothered me too much. Um, the nice thing about Rankin Inlet is we do get a little bit of sunlight uh, every day, so that's good. My apartment has nice big windows and uh, my classroom also has nice big windows. So yes, um, yeah, I think December 21st, the sun set at like 2.30 or the sun rose at 9.40 a.m. and then set at 2.30. So the day was pretty short, but uh, I thought it would be a lot blacker. But I don't know. Maybe if you're like north, 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 it will be. Anyways, those are two things that I've learned so far. I'm just walking to the northern and uh, I'll show you some stuff uh, when I'm inside. All right, see you soon. Bye. Hey, oh, it's me again. I'm at the grocery store. So a few of you have asked about like food prices. And uh, I think one of the interesting things that I've learned is some things are really expensive and other things not so expensive. So I'll just show you, uh, just show you what I mean. So all of your produce is about the same prices. Like granted, you know, a watermelon is $10 for that little guy. But, uh, you know, a bag of apples. Yeah, well, that's mixed fruit, ooh. Fruit melange. What do we got in there? Apple, oranges. Yeah, so some of the stuff is like the same price. Uh, like the three pound bag of apples is 4.79. So, you know, some of that stuff is like the same price. Uh, coming over here, I'll show you what the uh, the price of produce is. See if I can find. You know, some of the stuff is going up 
but like these little uh, mini cucumbers, not cucumbers, little mini carrots, that's $3 a bag. That's ridiculous, that's gone way up to $10 for, what is it, broccoli, but I find broccoli like always changes prices. Uh, these lettuces are $3.99. Uh, this bag of romaine hearts is $6.99. Um, I like these. Those last a long time. The romaine, not so much. They never last. I don't know why, it's weird. Uh, your meat and stuff is a little bit more. Like, I mean, this garlic sausage is $20. Um, anything prepared is gonna run ya. Like these macaroni salads and stuff. You know, like 16, 1649 for a, for a prepared thing. I think what you pay down south like six dollars for that. So anything prepared, be prepared to pay. Well, uh, let's check out some frozen foods here. Uh, your juices and whatnot, about the same price. You know, your Minute Maid 239, not, not a bad deal. Uh, potato, prepared potatoes, like frozen stuff. Like 589 for those, 359 for the hash browns. I've had these ones, they're really good. Um, I also really like the hash brown patties, like these ones. Not the onion flavor, just the regular flavor, but they're all the same price. So, yeah. Oh, the Cavendish patties. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, oh, $5.49 for like a little thing. That's that one. Where is it, that one. That's not a good deal, but I've gotten the, like the McCain hash brown classics before. So yeah, just uh, the some prices. So I was expecting things to be like way more expensive. Um, I remember in Anuvik when I was there, the price of things was like crazy, crazy. But uh, yeah, anything prepared. Ice cream, that's a kicker. $16.79 for that container. And uh, yeah, needless to say, I haven't had too much ice cream since I've been here. Uh, milk, so your two liters of milk, $2.89. Uh, I have been buying the four liters because sometimes the four liter prices or the ex expiration dates um, are a little better. So $4.69 for a milk, that's a pretty good deal. And uh, you know, I must have always chocolate milk. That's like the cheapest sugary drink that you can buy, $2.69 for the two liters. So. I don't know, as a, as a splurge once a week, totally worth it. But uh, yeah, everything else, like anything in a bag, really like, you know, your Lay's, $6. Haven't had too many chips since I've been here. Oh, where is it? Oh, the, the they have a price. Oh yeah, so the 20, the 12 pack of canned drinks is twenty dollars and 49 cents also needless to say haven't had too many pop what since i've been here even like the little ones where is it do they have them i know the 500 ml ones are like five dollars so yeah um and anything like i don't know you don't really need those things to survive which is why there's so much but uh, you know, whatevs, you do what you gotta do. So anyways, I, uh, I'll show you one more thing here in just a few minutes. Hey there, me again. Uh, so one of the other things I learned uh, is that getting a ride is a good time. I mean, it takes me about 20 minutes to walk across town, 10 minutes to walk to work. So really I'm not out too much. Uh, but uh, yeah, being able to get a ride or a pickup from somebody when you're walking, uh, especially on like the cold-ish days, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's awesome. So uh, just saying, you know, if anybody wants to like donate me $18,000, um, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so yeah. I'd also like to add that 
Um, this is one of these like north problems, but uh, I mean, it's too cold to go outside without like a huge coat, but it's too hot like inside. So I'm like dying, sweating so much. Hashtag north problems. Anyways, I'm all done here in the store. So I'm gonna head back outside. So here I am outside. It's much darker now, as you can see. And uh, oh, I gotta get my mitten on. Mittens, they're awesome. All right, so just on my way home. And uh, yeah, so far, it's been a great experience. Hold on, let me get this. There we go. So far, it's been an awesome experience living up here. I mean, the people are amazing. Uh, my class, such a fun group of kids. Uh, it's a pleasure to go and hang out with them every day. Uh, on the teaching side, I've also discovered that 12 is the ideal number of students. So if you're in like, I don't know, education, this is to the Minister of Education everywhere, you gotta reduce class sizes. Because 12, if you really cared about the kids, hire more teachers <laughs> so we can have smaller class sizes. So yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, when I get home, we'll conclude by showing you the two best purchases I've made since being up here. Anyways, we'll see you soon. So, I am home. Just to wrap up, I've bought, well, I've bought a bunch of stuff since I've been here, glass pan or whatever. But the two best purchases I've made since coming here, one of the very first, this pizza pan is awesome. But it's just a pizza pan, you say? No, uh, this is a cookie tray. Uh, it is a baking sheet. Uh, I have made pizza on it, yes. Um, it's a, like a loaf proofer. Um, yeah, it's like anytime I need to like bake something that is non-sauced, all my sauces stuff, like when I cook chicken and whatnot, that all goes in the glass pan, but anything, everything else, like grill, grilled cheese maker, this thing is awesome. I love this pizza pan. It's the best. So. If you're moving into a new place and you need just a pan, go out and buy the biggest pizza pan you can and guarantee you won't regret it. It's the, like the best thing. Anyways, enough about the pizza pan. Last thing is this sled. Uh, if you go back a few episodes, you'll see when I first got the sled. This sled is awesome. It's huge. I mean, it, yeah, it's big. It holds a lot. And I mean, when you have to haul groceries, from for like 15 minutes across town, not having to carry them is so awesome. And you know, when you have an awesome wife who buys you like the heaviest weighted blanket she can find from the post office, also super awesome. I wouldn't have been able to carry it home. So Amazon packages, all my mail, when I go get groceries, it all goes in the sled. Uh, and then I just trudge it home. It's so nice. Having said that, uh, having, I've gotten driven home a few times with my groceries. Like I say, 
it's not that far to walk, so I'm not too much out, but uh, having getting those pickups every once in a while is so good. Anyways, that's all for now. That's my six month video. And uh, thank you all for watching and for following along on my adventures up here. Please like and subscribe and ring the bell and all those YouTubey things. Um, I would love to get to 100 subscribers. Um, I'm so close, so close, so very close. Anyways, that's all for now. Uh, I hope you all have a, a great week and a great evening or whenever you watch this, a great fill in the blanks. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time for another episode of Ken's Adventure Series. That's all for now.